Hi all. Welcome to Ajis Academy. Today we are going to learn about properties of beta and gamma functions. Property number 1 show that beta of m n equal to gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n. This property is also known as relation connecting beta and gamma functions. Friends, this is very useful to solve more problems in beta and gamma functions. Let us see how to prove this property. By definition of gamma functions, we write gamma of m is equal to 2 times integral 0 to infinity e power minus x square x power 2m minus 1 dx. Put it equation number 1. Also, gamma of n is equal to 2 integral 0 to infinity e power minus y square y power 2n minus 1 dy. That is equation number 2. Then we multiplying these two equations, we will get gamma of m into gamma of n is equal to 4 times integral 0 to infinity, integral 0 to infinity e power minus x square x power 2m minus 1 dx into e power minus y square y power 2n minus 1 dy. That is equal to 4 double integral 0 to infinity 0 to infinity e power minus x square plus y square x power 2m minus 1 y power 2n minus 1 dx dy. Now we transfer Cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates by putting x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. When x is r cos theta and y is r sin theta, we get x square plus y square equal to r square. Since the region of integration is in the first quadrant, theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 and r varies from 0 to infinity. Since the region is 0 to infinity and therefore the region is in the positive quadrant and therefore theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 and r varies from 0 to infinity. Therefore mod gamma of m into gamma of n is equal to 4 integral 0 to pi by 2 integral 0 to infinity e power minus r square r cos theta power 2m minus 1 r sin theta power 2n minus 1 r dr d theta. Now we split the above integral. Here we get gamma of m into gamma of n is equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 cos theta power 2m minus 1 sin theta power 2n minus 1 d theta into 2 integral 0 to infinity e power minus r square r power 2m minus 1 r power 2n minus 1 r into dr. Here we separate the integral into 2. We know that theta uh, varies from 0 to pi by 2 and r varies from 0 to infinity. So, we can separate this uh, integrals very easily. Therefore, gamma of m into gamma of n is equal to 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta power 2n minus 1 cos theta power 2m minus 1 d theta into 2 integral 0 to infinity e power minus r square r power 2 into m plus n minus 1 dr. We have beta of m n equal to 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta power 2m minus 1 cos theta power 2n minus 1 d theta and beta of m n equal to beta of n m. These two properties from beta and uh, beta functions. Using equation 1 or 2 we can write 2 integral 0 to infinity e power minus r square r power 2 into m plus n minus 1 dr is equal to gamma of m plus n. This is from equation number 3. Thus, equation number 3 implies gamma of m into gamma of n is equal to beta of mn into gamma of m plus n. Thus, beta mn equal to gamma m into gamma n divided by gamma of m plus n. So, this is the relation connecting beta and gamma functions. We can... Uh, Prove it very easily. Property 2 of beta and gamma functions prove that gamma of 1 by 2 equal to root pi. We know that by a property of beta function, beta of m n equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta power 2m minus 1 cos theta power 2n minus 1 d theta. Now we put 
m equal to n equal to 1 by 2 in the above equation, we get beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta power 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1 cos theta power 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1 d theta. We clearly 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1 is 0 and therefore this expression can be written. 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta power 0 cos theta power 0 d theta. Already we have in the previous line the LHS is beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. So by property number 1 of this video beta of m n equal to gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n. And therefore in the LHS of this previous equation can be written as gamma of 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 divided by gamma of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. In the denominator of the LHS, gamma of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is equal to gamma of 1. Therefore, gamma of 1 by 2 by into gamma of 1 by 2 divided by gamma of 1 is equal to 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 d theta. After integrating 0 to integral, integral 0 to pi by 2 d theta becomes theta uh, from 0 to pi by 2 after simplification we get 2 into pi by 2 that is equal to pi. Already we know that gamma of 1 is equal to 1 and therefore this line can be written as gamma of 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 equal to pi. The reason is gamma of 1 is equal to 1 therefore gamma of 1 by 2 equal to root pi. So this is a property number 2. It is also very easy to prove. So I hope these two properties are very useful to you friends. So before uh, closing this video, I will give three homeworks for you friends. So these three problems are very easy to solve. So please note it down and do it. If you have any doubts regarding this, try to comment. So do subscribe Ajis Academy and comment if any queries. Thanks for watching. Thank you friends.